So, what is going to happen if a bank dies? Basically, if they go bankrupt. Pressing into this video, you're probably wondering what should I expect if a bank really goes bankrupt? Which is supposed to be really rare, but because of the SVB news, you can no longer say that because since 2008 until now, it has not been a very short amount of time comparing to the history of banks collapse. So after a bit of searching, I found out that you will get all your money back after a bank collapse. Yes, that's the good news, but the bad news is you're only going to get them back after many years. The thing that happened is every now and then they just send checks to your house and you're going to get money that is originally supposed to be yours, repaid and repaid and repaid, which I don't know how much it has devalued by the time they send back your money, but the numbers is going to be the same, at least. It's like they're repaying debts, basically, but there is no time limit and it will happen really slow. This is actually according to a small little bank that collapsed during 2008 called NetBank. Not very popular, so let's not talk about it right now. But I'm also pretty sure that I'm not the only one that doesn't like the idea that all my money is in one bank and it collapsed and I only get it back after many years. Yeah, I don't think I like the sound of that. And just so you know, if a bank collapsed, that also means the government did not save them. Well, there's two possibilities. They couldn't have or they didn't want to. Probably they don't want to. When they say they don't want to, most of the time it's because the bank is really small and doesn't really bother the economy too much. But a bank like SVB would definitely catch their attention because it's quite big and it will affect many banks at the same time. So this is us talking about the worst case scenario. For me, I would personally like to bring my money separated into many different places. Well, it is not a way to like save your money or keep your money professionally. It's not saying that, but you know, when this kind of things happen, you should find some place to put your money before it actually disappears and have to only repay you after many years. And also the worst part about banks collapse is that they always have an after effect that affects many other banks as well. Mainly also because many other banks like to borrow loans from other banks, which will cause a domino effect. That is what is happening to SVB right now. And if you haven't keep up with the news that actually quite a lot of other banks are affected, which I will not mention in this video, then you probably should take a look at it. Personally, I would recommend you to put it in maybe crypto. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do not take this as a financial advice. I'm going to say this once. Crypto could work. But if you think, oh yeah, it's a bit risky, you know, even though it's still safer than the bank currently, it's still risky. I don't want to risk it. Then I want to put it in somewhere like gold and silver. It is not just be able to preserve your money value, which crypto should be able as well. But uh, it will also help you earn a bit of money since it is going up quite a bit right now, both crypto and gold and silver. So anyways, take a look at those options if you are finding one. Well, if you are satisfied with what you have heard in this video, please like and subscribe. And if you agree or disagree with me, comment down below. Any thoughts, I want to hear it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.